The first topic for this session we'll be covering is the key areas of financial management. Now we have gone deep into finance. We have seen what is finance, types of finance, what is financial management all about. Now financial management is just about acquiring, investing, distribution and liquidity of funds. Now based on this you have seen financial manager role also comes into picture. Finance manager role just crops out of the four decisions which a business has to make. Because of it, we have key areas of financial management which needs to be covered. The key areas of financial management are what? What is actually the scope of financial manager? What is financial management actually covers? And this is what expected from you by this module as well. This module will throw light on these areas of financial management and we'll be covering each area in each of a decision at a time. Now, the first area of financial management we'll be covering is the estimating the capital requirements of a concern. Estimating the capital requirements of the concern means, for example, in talk about over here is acquisition of funds. When we want funds, how much is actually is the requirement of funds we have? We just can't randomly ask people give us money, right? So what is the exact requirement of funds which we are looking at? So what do we do? We estimate the exact capital requirements of funds and the switch we will cover is an acquisition of funds. Then we determine the capital structure of an enterprise. Capital structure you will be seeing going deep when you cover is acquisition of funds. We have a particular unit for it. Capital structure we decide okay when we want funds okay and the different sources at a disposition. You can use the reserves which you have. You can take a loan from a bank or a financial institution. You can ask public to give you loan at the end as well. You can ask public to give you money through shares. But how do you get a relationship among the various sources. How do you decide how much should be shares, how much should be debentures, how much should be retained earnings? How do you come up with this proportion in short? That is what we study in capital structure. So in key, we also will cover is how to determine the capital structure of an enterprise. Apart from this, we'll see what choice you make as to a source of finance. Do we cater more to shares? Do we cater more to debentures, preference shares, equity shares? What area should we focus more at the end? So finalizing the choice, choice as to the source of funds, then we'll see, okay, we have got the funds. We should start investing the funds. Investing, we focus is on capital budgeting. Okay, you got the funds. You can put your money in project A, project B, project C. Which project will you look for as such, right? Capital budgeting decisions are very, very important. Now, when you invest your money, it's very important because the amount of funds is very large. It involves large amount of funds. These decisions are irreversible in nature as well. So, you have to be very careful when you're investing your funds. And the financial management helps you determine the pattern of investment of funds. Funds. Similarly, now you saw business started running. Okay, first few years a new business may not give you so much returns. Okay, it will take time for you to reach a break even as well. Okay, when start giving you returns, how are you going to return the problem? how you are going to distribute the returns now how the surplus profits are to be distributed or you want to retain back in the business for example you may say a new company i need money to stabilize myself whatever profits i'm earning i won't take it home i'll reuse in the business for as a retained earnings for self-sufficiency now how, how do you decide all that this is which you cover in distribution of surplus judiciously Similarly, last we see how the funds are required for day-to-day -day working. So day-to-day -day working is important. Okay, we see larger picture. We want to do this year, five years down the line. We want to be a big a global company. We'll take over this company. We want funds. We want to open up branches here and there. That is all is fine. But do you have funds for your day-to-day -day working as well? This is what we cover as in management of cash. So we'll be covering is working capital management or liquidity of funds over and we'll see how efficiently can you manage the cash and such. But the key area Areas of finance are there and this is what your subject is all about. Whatever four or five units you see in your syllabus had just cropped up from these four financial decisions and these are the various areas of finance which we will be covering in short.